Hello, welcome back to the farm. Beautiful, windy, mixed rain, mixed sun, but mostly windy and rainy day here. Today, I would like to talk to you about dragon fruit. Here is one of our dragon fruits. They are a cactus. They like to climb in their kind of natural environments. They'll happily take over a huge tree and hang down from it, from the branches. So you would look up and see a giant pile of these cactuses growing all over a tree. So when you grow them at home, they suggest, the, the thing we've heard is, you give them something to climb on so that, that they can go over it and then come down. And that's the only way that they're going to put out flowers and fruits. If they just go up, 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 they'll never do it because that's how they like to hang in the tree. They hang in the tree, they hang down, then they make their flowers and their fruits. So this is kind of an improvised, uh, improvised dragon fruit post. There used to be pallets here, but they all collapsed and rotted. Our area is probably... But, you know, the pellets are fine because they just become mulch, right, when they fall apart. So it's not a big deal. It just means you have to have a, a new thing. Um, so our area is probably a little bit too wet for dragon fruit. They actually probably would like it a little bit hotter and drier than our area. Which is why ours have experienced much, much losses and sufferings. This guy has a hole in him. They get the the copper, the copper fun copper rot, I believe it's called copper rot, and they just turn to mush. So we're always trying, but you know, dragon fruits are delicious and wonderful, and we are always trying to grow them. So one, there are multiple ways that you can propagate dragon fruit. The first is by cutting. So the plant actually want, kind of wants you to make cuttings. So all of these can be separated. This can be separated. Both of these segments can be separated and be planted. Just stick them in the ground, basically. Um, so any segment where you're like, hey, I bet I could break a piece of that off, that's where you would break it off. And, you know, but the thing is, the other way that they do it is through the fruit. The fruit has seeds. And we have planted the seeds. And look at these babies. Here's a whole tofu container with holes on the bottom. A tofu container full of tiny, teeny weeny baby dragon fruits. They're so cute. They're still sharp though. Hold on, let me see if I can find. So these aren't even the most baby kind. Because these, you can see, they already have a few divisions. Most of them already have a few divisions like a few, you know, unique segments. When they're really, really baby, hold on, let me see if I can find an extremely teeny weeny baby. Even when they're, here you go. Here's a teeny weeny little baby dragon fruit. They come from a very small seed. There's a lot of the seeds in there. And the first thing they do, pff, they're pretty hardy, you don't have to worry. So the first thing they do is they put out this sort of double leaf. That's the first set, these, these two little flap, flappy leaves, and they're like the base. And then it starts making the long part after that. So the first step is the double leaf, then it switches to the sort of more familiar thing. And here it already has two teeny weeny little segments. It's so cute. So, such cute babies. These guys, they're basically sitting in nothing. This is like a little bit of mulch, a little bit of wood chips. They're all piled on top of each other. They sit in the shade. As you can see, they're quite moist. I think if they were in full sun, it would be too much for these babies. And eventually, we should probably plant them out. But they seem to be doing okay. Their roots are a little bit exposed, but they seem to be okay with that. So look at the difference in size between the baby and the parent. Well, it's not the parent. I, oh, well, maybe it's the parent. No, I don't think it's the parent. The baby and the adult. This 
the dragon fruit has to get to at least this kind of thickness before it starts to produce. And this is how they start out. And these are maybe, they're definitely six months or more older than that. They may even be a year old. I don't really remember when I planted these. And these are all from cuttings. These are from cuttings. That's why we have any big ones at all, because we bought them from cuttings. So cuttings is definitely the preferred way to go. If you can get cuttings of dragon fruit, that's the best way to go. And you want to get nice fat cuttings because you might also get some skinny cuttings. We have skinny cuttings too. Where are they? Here's some more skinny ones. These maybe grew from seed. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. But what I want to show you the surprise, the dragon fruit surprise. Walk with me. Can you believe it? It's March and it's still making lilikoi. I don't understand how. How does this plant work? Normally they make lilikoi in like December, January. It's April. It's actually April, what is it, 2nd maybe? Hi, Tux. What's up? You got something to say? No? Okay. So, I was poking around over here because I was like, oh, is there something growing back here? I had put a similar dragon fruit container back here. I assumed they had all died. And then I started pulling back this grass. Look what I found in here. That's a dragon fruit. Look. That's a dragon fruit. It's bigger. It's definitely older than these. And so I started poking around more over here. Look. More dragon fruit. More dragon fruit right there. And Look, that, it got squished under some stuff. I will liberate you. Look, these are pretty big. And the ultimate one, look, here. I started tracing it up, 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 up. <laughs> here. So that's like two feet tall. Here it is. And I definitely, I think this is from seed. How did that one grow to be so tall? Oops, there's a bunch more in here. They're all just happily growing in here. It's all these leaves and stuff. I think I should dig them out. They look a little bit too, I think they might want a little bit more sun at this point. So that, that's what happens if you leave your plants in the bushes and forget about them. So I'm going to set this here for now. I'm going to set it here in the bushes next to the other ones that seem to be doing completely fine, including this champion. Just let them hang out. Let the leaves drop on them. That's going to be their mulch. Unless you got, did you get too mulched? Uh oh Not too much mulch. Oh no, it's all liquidy in there. That, see that? That's too much. That's too much for these guys. Look, there's only a couple left in here. That's way too moist for them. Way too... Oh, look at how many roots they've got, though. Holy smokes. Is that their roots? Oh, oh I just broke one of the leaves. Oh, my God. Does it have a better root? It's kind of hard to tell. I think it's too wet for them over there. I'll move them. Don't want them to be soggy. They are a cactus. Anyway, they don't really need soil because actually if they have like real, real soil, it's too wet for them. So you just kind of put their very lowest little sec segment, cover it up with something. They'll be fine. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this dragon fruit adventure. A little dragon fruit surprise two feet tall dragon fruit hanging out in the bushes. It literally looks like there's nothing there. Nothing. But it was growing in there all along. Till next time then. Bye!